Hello and welcome to this video on ADP ACP test. ADP stands for actual deferral percentage, while ACP stands for actual contribution percentage. And there are two of several non discrimination tests a 401k plan needs to satisfy. ADP and ACP work in the same way in terms of calculations, but ADP tests for 401k and Roth contribution, while ACP tests for employer match and employee after tax contribution. All eligible participants of the plan are divided into two groups highly compensated employees, HCEs, and non highly compensated employees, non HCEs. HCEs are those who own more than 5% of the interest in a business regardless of compensation, or those who receive more than $135,000 in 2022. It is important to note that employees who choose not to contribute are also included as eligible participants and they will be included in the calculations. For ADP test, we first calculate the deferral percentage of each participant, which is the proportion of compensation contributed for both pre-tax and Roth deferrals. Then we calculate the average deferral percentage for the HCE group and the non-HCE group. The average of the non-HCE group can be taken from either the current year or prior year, but the HCE average has to be taken from the current year. It is difficult to determine whether the prior year or the current year method is better without considering the specifics of the plan. Based on the average of the non-HCE group, the plan passes the test when the HCE average is not more than the corresponding maximum HCE average. For example, if the average for non-HCE group is 7%, the HCE average cannot exceed 9%. As mentioned earlier, ACP works the same, but it looks at employer match and after-tax contributions. So what happens if the plan fails the test? The answer is nothing. No penalty as long as a correction is made in time in either one of the following two ways. First, HCEs can have their excess contributions refunded, with a deadline of two and a half months after the end of the plan year. Or, the employer can choose to make additional employer contribution to non-HCEs to make up for the difference. The deadline for this second method is the plan sponsor's tax filing deadline. Most parts of the ADP ACP test, except for the after tax contributions for ACP, can be waived by setting up a safe harbor plan. We will discuss details of safe harbor in our next video. In the meantime, if you have any questions regarding this topic, please don't hesitate to reach out to us through our website. Thank you.